Welcome to GNN, Galactic News Network. It seems like all the young races in the Orion Quadrant are ready to go exploring and expand to new worlds. Indeed it does. We have some footage of them here, right now. Okay, let's meet the Cylon Quanta before I rust. Now the time has come for the Cylon Quanta to go beyond in their search for answers. Pleased to meet you. This is the controller of the Cylon Quanta. I am certain we have much to learn from each other. The Cylons prefer large planets so they can focus on their research. It looks like they found one suitable on their doorstep. That will certainly help them reach technological enlightenment. They sure look like a peaceful race. If all races were like the Cylon Quanta, then the universe would be a boring place. But races aren't just looking for a technological victory but also in excellence, economics, or with diplomacy. Don't forget my personal favorite, conquest. In related news, the Sacra Brood are a battle-hungry race, eager to show off their strength. Sounds like a news-creating race. Let's meet the leader of Sacra Brood. You are now before the hierarch of the Sacra Brood. Threaten not my progeny, and you and yours may live on. Pirates, big boss! Pirates are a threat to all space-faring races. The Sagra Brood will enjoy annihilating them. However, constructing a destroyer is required to remove their base. This takes resources and time. That's better. No more pirates. Oh, a space monster. It's a bigger challenge for the Sacra Brood. Victory to the Sacra Brood. In lighter news, a football game held on Planet X came to an abrupt end today after the highly praised terraforming process began early, killing the entire population. Due to this slight error, the home team forfeit their points for the rest of the season. Up next, which planet has the cutest pets? 